Hello, Manish. Welcome to your PDF. Let's start your snap for PDF DO interview on the subject control system. Okay. Yeah. So the very first question is, what is uh, the difference between natural response and transient response? Natural response and transient response. Yes. So uh, natural response is the uh, in natural response we do not provide any input, and response comes because of the initial states of the uh, uh, storing uh, energy storing elements like capacitor and buffer in it. And the uh, uh, second one is post response. Can you confirm? My question was. What is the difference between natural response and a transient response? So, in natural response, we uh, do not provide an input and we get the output due to the initial state. And in uh, transient response, uh, transient response is uh, when we uh, give input to the system and uh, before reaching to steady states, the response that we got is the transient response. So what is a stable system? Mm, the stable system is like uh, if we give some bounded input to the system, then my output will also be bounded. So uh, practically, is it possible to get for a bounded input, unbounded output? Uh, practical systems are mostly uh, stable, but uh, if the system is unstable, then uh, for uh, bounded input, uh, uh, output may be bounded or... See, my question is, I have a system, dynamic system. Mm -hmm. I given some step input. My input magnitude is constant. So according to you, unstable means I'm going to get the output unbounded, means very high which is tending towards infinite. If I'm giving a fixed magnitude of input, why and how I will be getting that much huge increasing magnitude of output? Is it practically possible? From energy conservation point of view, it's not possible. Yeah. Why, we, why we have to use here in energy conservation here? Because energy, like uh, if we are applying some uh, input to the system, then uh, output should uh, output should uh, contain output is also containing some energy. So uh, if you are giving some uh, like uh, energy, should always be conserved. So that's why I'm thinking like it it cannot be. Yeah. See how to decide system stability. Uh, Using its characteristic equation, uh, like uh, we first found the transfer function in Laplace domain. Like uh, we take Laplace transform of the system and uh, dynamic equation, and then uh, analyzing its characteristic equation and the poles where it is. If it is on the left half of the S two, then the system will be stable, and that's how we decide uh, stability. Okay. Means you mean to say the stability of a system is de decided by the pole location in this plane. Hmm. Whole location like this. Okay. So you explain me how pole location in the right half of his plane is making my system unstable. Okay. Uh, if uh, any of my pole is rotating on the right half of the plane, then uh, uh, suppose, for example, uh, one pole is lying on the uh, real uh, real real axis and uh, on the right half of the screen, then its transfer function will be 1 upon S minus A, where A is a positive number. So uh, if I will, uh, it, it's the impulse, uh, uh, like transfer function of the uh, system. So uh, now when I will take uh, inverse Laplace of this system, then my uh, uh, time domain uh, transfer function, like H of T, uh, that is inverse Laplace transform of that system will be e to the power a t u t. So when time tends to infinite, my system's uh, magnitude will become uh, tends to infinite. So, so you are finding which response? If you are making uh, inverse, inverse Laplace transform function, you are going to get impulse response. Impulse response. 
so why impulse response you are considering uh because uh, if i am considering impulse response it will be easy for me to uh, uh, observe the uh, response due to other inputs also so in what way be suppose i need step response hmm. i so i will the, the definition by you for stability is bounded input bounded output right we did not given any input just uh, you told that if one pole is there in the right of phase print system will be unstable so i am giving you the input step unit step then tell me how the system is becoming unstable how you are getting uh, infinite amount of magnitude of output or uh, increasing the magnitude with respect to time take uh, input as unit step okay if i am giving input uh, as a unit step now my output will be uh... in laplace domain the multiplication of laplace transform of uh, step that is 1 upon s and uh, the transfer function uh, that is 1 upon s minus b now i will uh, 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 so when i am giving a uh, step input to the system then my output in uh, time domain uh, is coming uh, one upon my pole is on the right hand side and on the real axis at point a s is equal to a so a is positive number and uh, so my output is coming one upon a e to the power 80 minus 1 when time is tending to infinite my output uh, is also uh, tending to infinite so which output is tending to infinite which output is tending to infinite step, step response step response step Why? response okay so take one uh, characteristic equation hmm. s square plus 2s plus 2 equal to 0 s square plus 2s plus 2 is equal to 0 I want to know whether this uh, system is stable or not. Yeah, system is without, stable. Without without applying RS criteria, can you come to? Hey, yes, sir. Uh, without applying RS criteria for uh, uh, first order and second order, we can say because all the coefficients are positive, so no no pole will lie on the right hand side of the screen. Okay. Series RLC network is stable or unstable? Uh, series RLC network is. stable because r is there to stabilize the uh, uh, like r will damp out my oscillation so lc circuit lc circuit is uh, according to control system it's marginally stable because uh, poles will lie on the imaginary axis if i will plot its transfer function i will take so you mean to say series r lc circuit is stable because of resistance Yes, sir. Because of resistance, because it will damp out the oscillations due to LC. If I take marginally stable also as a stable system, hmm. now I am giving you a series R L circuit. Hmm. R any value, L any value, C any value for any value of R L C, whether it is stable or unstable. Uh, if marginally stable is called stable, then uh, should be stable, I guess. I'm not very sure. But If the resistance value is taken as negative, suppose say R equal to minus two ohms in a series R L C network, whether it is stable or unstable. Uh, but uh, practical value of resistance cannot be negative. Uh, if I am taking it uh, negative, then it may be possible that uh, uh, it may be lead to unstable. Is it uh, clearly unstable, or uh, maybe stable, or maybe unstable? Uh, I have to write its transfer function and then check uh, because impedance will be minus R plus L S plus one upon C S. I will my characteristic equation one coefficient will become negative, so uh, yeah, it will be unstable. Okay. Can you give one practical example for? a marginally stable uh, system marginally stable uh, in lc 
filter oscillations will be there so uh, it will be marginal stable system because uh, it will it will not damp out the oscillations coming uh, if i am providing any oscillations to this lc and uh, lc combination then my uh, oscillation will not die out it will continuously oscillate so it will be marginally stable I have a third order characteristic equation. Yes. Take the characteristic equation. S Q plus three S square plus two S plus eight equal to zero. S Q plus three S square plus two S two S plus eight equal to zero. Okay. I want to know whether it is stable or not. Is it possible to go for the stability of that one without applying R H criteria? Uh, uh, we can. Uh, vectorize and get the whole locations. Okay. And then we can resolve. What does it mean by relative stability? Uh, okay. The uh, relative stability is uh, different from absolute stability. A uh, relative stability uh, gives us that how much margin is there uh, so that we, we will reach to the verge of the stability and stability. Like, uh, uh, how much uh, margin is available so that uh, we are uh, far away from the verge of this uh, instability point? Okay, fine. Can you draw one electrical circuit which is unstable? Unstable. What, uh... You are not audible, uh, Manish. Yes, sir. I I am saying that uh, I I cannot. I am not able to think any uh, unstable system like. Okay. okay. You are from electronics background, right? Electrical and electronics. Yes. Okay. Electrical and electronics. Can you relate this stability with the power system stability? Uh, in power system, my uh, stability of the system is uh, like in any machines. It depends on the uh, that suppose in power system we mostly use synchronous machine to produce uh, electrical as an electrical generator. So uh, there we use this stability thing, uh, like from swing equations. Uh, in uh, electrical machines, like in, uh, we use that uh, swing equation and we uh, take the Laplace transform of that also and we derive its transfer function and then we. Uh, so, my question uh, is how we are going to relate this control system stability with power system stability? What does it mean by a stable power system network with respect to power system? So, uh, so my uh, current and voltage limit should no uh, should not go beyond a certain limit, uh, which is uh, which can damage my equipment. So, uh, like that, I can say uh, this will be my stability limit. Can you use some methods to improve stability? 
methods to like a uh, controller we can use and uh, uh, a compensator we use to uh, improve the stability of the system what is the difference between controller and compensator uh in controller uh, we basically in using compensator we provide the phase lag or lead in the system and uh, a controller is uh, like uh, given by the manufacturer and if my uh, if i want to uh, if i am not getting some desired output then i will use some uh, compensator to uh, it will help me like uh, otherwise i will have to replace the entire device so i can use some compensator so that i can create my output as a desired so let me give you feedback uh, manish yes sir so in the preparation improvement is required uh, your analytical skills are missing so it is recommended to think analytically uh, in this particular areas on which we taken snap today okay